Hi all, today I am going to show you how to set up your React Native project with Native Base. First of all, this is our starter project, and I uh, just uh, cleaned up the app.js file so it looks like this. And uh, I've built the application so as you can see, it's running our application is running in our Android emulator. And um, uh, you can also style that status bar, as you can see, I've added the status bar here. You can create, uh, you can have it as light content or dark content based on your uh, requirement but you can also add one more thing say if you want uh, your background to affect your status bar background as well then you can add this two lines and uh, now as you can see you are uh, you are available with the whole screen and you can work with the whole screen if you want uh, based on your background you can uh, just uh, make it dark content or light content so to set up our project with native base we'll go to nativebase.io go to the docs and uh, here's the installation guide after you go to the installation guide uh, we'll go to the install in react native project and then we have already installed our project we've already created the project so we'll go to existing project and then go to npm since i'm using npm if you're using yarn you can use the yarn so uh, we'll copy this copy this we we'll just copy this and uh, paste this here and install that's it that's it uh, we just gotta do that and then uh, as you can see i've already installed this uh, native base and native react native safe area context is already available we don't really need the react native svg but it will be re required later so let it be so uh, native base and react native safe area context are installed now we can uh, just set up our uh, project with native base so first of all we need to provide the whole project with native base so for that we need to use this native base provider see it's uh, it has come and uh, that's that's it and uh, we have given the whole application the native base provider so that uh, we are able to use the native base components and everything okay so now we are going to add a custom theme in our native base in our react native project so for that uh, so for that let's check the documentation and in the documentation uh, we are available with the theming and uh, as we go below you can see there's a customizing theme available so we can customize our theme based on our need so we'll just copy this part and uh, go to our vs code and uh, first of all we'll create a folder called src or source okay we, will, uh, we have created our source folder we are going to again create a folder name theme in theme we are going to create a file index.js and in this one we are going to paste this of course we need to import extend theme and we'll save this so you can see this is a prettier problem it comes sometimes but it has a quick fix we'll just disable the prettier for the entire file and this will be done let's clean this up a bit we don't need this if you want to add a color okay i'll just add this color green dot 300 Value this color here, and uh, now we are going to provide the theme to the native base provider. For that, so to provide the theme to the native base provider, we need to okay, let's name this as custom theme so that there isn't any confusion. Let's name this custom theme. Yes, this is done and uh, we'll go here and 
I'll provide the custom theme to the native disk provider. We have imported the custom theme here. So let's create a demo file here. Say demo.js. Yes, and if you know RNFES gives us a functional component with style sheet and RNFE gives us functional component without style sheet. So if you want to add the style sheet in the same file then use RNFES and then press tab. Otherwise use RNFE and then press tab. And then this is done. So we have uh, provided the project with native base provider but we want this demo to go below the status bar right uh, because we can't we are not able to see the demo properly so for that we have installed the save the native safe area context while installing the native base so we'll give it uh, safe area provider from the to safe area context we'll be enveloping the whole demo.js with this demo.js we have imported the demo.js we we'll need the text here so we have provided uh, the safe area provider to the whole demo app but uh, we also need to give it does safe area view and as you can see after giving the safe area view our demo is below the status bar so that's what we needed now we should be able to use the color right we don't need the view for now uh, we can just uh, create a style but that is not required right now what is more important is that what is more important is to import the text from native base other than react native so that we can use the color say we want to whatever we have given as we can see we have given a green dot 300 right green 300 we will add that color here color equal to green dot 300 as you can see the color has changed so we have set up our theme with the uh, native base and we are able to change it say you want um, let's 900 primary 900 or let's use ember 400 okay uh, let's uh, let's use ember 400 and it's changed to ember 400 it's perfect um, okay this is cool but we don't just want color okay we also have some other options to add as you can see here not we are not only able to use custom colors we can also use the custom fonts so to add custom fonts we first need to add the fonts so for that uh, you can go to font space you can go to font space and download some font you can download any font you want but i have downloaded Montserrat. you can just uh, search the font here and then um download it using this button and uh, after downloading it will be downloaded as a rar file and you can extract it and uh, this will be all the fonts uh, all the related fonts will be available so i'm just going to use a few of the fonts and make sure that you are using the ttf file that is a true type font file so I'll be using the semi bold, uh, maybe the regular and um, extra bold. Let's take extra bold 
uh, regular and I also want to use the medium medium okay let's use the medium also medium regular semi bold and extra bold okay just make sure they are TTF files and uh, you can just create a folder here called assets okay so I've created the assets folder in the assets folder um, I'll create another folder called fonts and uh, in the fonts folder okay let's uh, create another folder okay I've created uh, two folders and uh, I'll just bring this on to the fonts and as you can see these are available let's let's rename this so that uh, we're not confused you know I will name this font mount extra bold. This one I will name as mount medium. This one I will rename as mount regular. and uh, this one will name is mount semi bold okay i've added all the fonts here and renamed them so that i can use them easily and uh, now we need to configure the font so that react native knows that we are using these fonts okay so for that create a file For that create a file in the root directory the file name will be react-native.config.js and you don't need to add too many things here just model.exports equal to and this is an object having just one key and value pair assets will be because since you are adding the fonts here so we need to go to src and then assets folder and then fonts folder that's it that's all you can do here okay again the prettier problem is control and dot and disable prettier for the whole file and uh, Make sure it's uh, correct. We go to SRC first and then the assets directory and then the fonts directory. And in the fonts directory, we have all the fonts available. So after making changes to the name of the DTF files of the fonts, based on your, uh, based on whatever you feel like is easy for you, uh, you got to close the project and uh, run npx react native link make sure you remember this npx react native link and press enter and this will link your fonts available this will first check this file actually and it will find that we want to link this asset okay so all these fonts will be linked with the android and the ios as well so you can actually see this so you go to android then add then src then main and you have the assets folder here and inside it fonts and all of the four fonts are available here so now we can use these fonts okay so now we can use these fonts in our project however we want wherever we want so we'll use these fonts now so for that We'll first run the metro bundler and then and then run Android. So our project has run. My application is running in the Android emulator. And now let me show you. Okay. So you can just add this style and uh, use this style here. And we are able to use the 
on desktop mode if you want to use uh, mount medium then just type mount medium and mount medium is available here now we want to set up this in the theme as well so for that if you go to the documentation of native base go to the customized fonts part you will see that you can just add fonts like this okay you can just add fonts like this and uh, you can use them in our native base let's just add the fonts the colors are added here let's add the fonts here and let's name them as however we want okay we want the header to be mount extra bold okay we want the header to be mount extra bold and uh, let's add the let's name this as medium another as regular and one more as let's say okay semi bold okay so this one is mount medium this one is mount regular and this one will be mount semi bold okay make sure you don't do a typo here and uh, you can just copy it from here only and just paste it so that you don't do a typo here otherwise uh, you might be searching everywhere and not able to find it happens sometimes so mount semi bold is correct mount regular is correct mount medium is correct mount extra bold is also correct now let's save this fonts and um, let's remove this text you don't require this you can just add this here only font family so it, native base uh, allows us to just put the styles here like this and uh, font family equal to what do we have let's try uh, mount extra bold again mount extra bold let's put mount extra bold and uh, voila it's available okay it's coming let's change it to mount uh, regular and it's available and let's change the color also let's change the color once mm, want a different color let's again try using the green dot 300 so it's coming great great so this is how we can set up our react native project with native base and you can add much more different uh, styles and colors and fonts here only so that you can use it in your project directly. So that's it for this video. See you next time.